what advice would you give your younger self that you wish you had heard back then? Patience. I was in a rush. I wanted to soak in everything I could. I volunteered for everything I could. Some of that was good. I overdid it. So I got out of whack and out of balance. And uh, I had a year where I had two days off. Ellen and I actually looked at it. Uh, and and I, was, I was a young prosecutor and I loved the job and I wanted to soak up all the experience. That wasn't healthy. Um, I never exercised, yeah, I just wasn't, it wasn't healthy. So patience and, you know, give yourself a break now and then. I thought I knew more than I did. It's the curse of everybody or many people at a younger age. I thought I knew more than I did. And I'd love to go back and do some of the work that I did in my 20s and early 30s, knowing what I know now. Um, there are cases I over-prosecuted that I regret, and there are cases that I think I under-prosecuted that I regret. I regret over-prosecuting more. I think I would make different decisions in certain cases that, with the benefit of wisdom and experience, um, that I still think about today. Because one of the things about being a prosecutor or about just working in the criminal justice system is to do the right thing. And most good prosecutors and lawyers that I know uh, rethink some of their old decisions. I think it's healthy. You can over, over, overthink, rethink. But I've tried to um, learn from my experience and I wish I had a little bit more of that wisdom back when I was in my 20s and 30s. But it doesn't work that way, Paul. <laughs>